I'm here today with Peggy Guggenheim, pardon me, for a change in her gondolier, who wears an incredibly tight pair of white pants, if you ask me. Uh, but in any event, there's been a few rumblings coming out of the carriage house, and I know that will come as almost no surprise to any of you. And, you know, the sort of thing, more comments than criticisms. Rana, what's, what sort of sheets are you using? Oh, I just wondered if we had the same thing. I just wondered if we had the same thing. But I know what I'm dealing with. And I knew we had sauna privileges coming on new tier on Patreon. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to knock this guy's socks off. People may remember from Ronica what I gifted myself was a fabulous Heston's robe. And who knows a sauna robe better than the Swedes? So without further ado, I bring you Brian's sauna robe. Now, I, get, I wish you were standing here with me so that you could put your hand on this. And as everyone knows, I love the crinkle of the package and the feeling of being the first person to disrobe the rope, if you will. Is that funny? I mean, this robe, I hate to tell you, is like, and I know because I have one, is like absolutely putting on a dream blanket the second you get out of the sauna. I love that. I think Brian, who has finally graduated back to sauna privileges, might really enjoy that. I went straight to Chrissy at Heston's of Beverly Hills, by the way, for all of this. And I'm laughing because people keep saying to me on social media, Rana, Drake has a Heston bed. Did you tell Drake about Heston's? Which I take as a vaguely anti-Semitic comment because we're both Jewish. And I sort of said, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I think I knew about Heston's before Drake. Yeah, before he started populating that indoor shopping mall in Toronto that he's calling a home with a Heston's bed. But look, I bet he gets a great night's sleep because I know that I do. So I got him this gorgeous robe and then I said, I'm not gonna be a fool about this. I know summer's coming and I'm gonna get more complaints out of him about the sheets. And so this summer I decided, I love a linen sheet personally. I love a sateen, but I love a linen in the summer because it's like the McDLT of sheets. Keeps the hot, hot and the cold, cold. So you can really use it in winter as well. But if you have a look at that, you can see, make sure I'm showing you, the pattern, the nub, the weft on that sheet. And that is what makes it possible for the air to circulate around the sheet, which I love. So then Chrissy, who's my salesman at Heston's in Beverly Hills when I'm out in Los Angeles, of course, is always too good to me and threw in a few extra things, which I hate to tell you. Hand sanitizer, which no one can get their hands on, pardon me. Some sort of a Korean brand, which I can't wait to try. And I'm looking at the box and it's telling me right now that it's 65% alcohol and glycerin, which is the minimum, but also does pass muster or cut the mustard in this case. Uh, so I'm very excited to use that. Then you're gonna die from this. They did Heston's masks. Is that hysterical? I mean, is that cute? And they're not just regular masks. They didn't just go, they could have just sent the fabric. That would have been cute, a little wink, but they sent the filters to go with it too. I mean, that is really an attention to detail that I can get behind. And then, this I absolutely love. This is a sleep candle, which when I tell you that that's like inhaling a lavender bush in the south of France, I mean, you'll just have to believe me. I mean, if that isn't, oh, if that doesn't put you right to sleep, I don't know what does. And then the very last thing that they sent, which was so cute I can't stand it, and I'll put this in the carriage house for you know how, is a Heston's on Beverly first aid kit, which I happen to know has an antibiotic in it that was made in Israel. Okay, kiss, kiss. That's my unboxing video. Let me know if you like it or you don't like it. But most importantly, maybe Brian, you could ask him to lay off a little bit. I mean, I'm doing my best over here. Okay. Kiss, kiss.